both whey protein and creatine are proven to be safe and highly effective when it comes to improving your workout performance and supporting muscle growth. But what if you combine these two popular fitness supplements? Would you gain more energy, faster recovery, and better muscle gains? In today's video, we're going to break down exactly that. Let's start by understanding what each of these supplements actually does for your body. First up, creatine in what creatine is and how it works. Creatine is a natural compound produced in the body. It plays a key role in generating energy, especially during high intensity training and heavy lifting. As a supplement, creatine helps increase muscle strength, improve workout performance, and boost muscle size over time. Creatine monohydrate is the most commonly used and most studied form. Although it's found in foods like red meat, the quantity is small, so supplementation becomes essential, especially for athletes or those who train hard regularly. And what whey protein is and how it works. Whey protein is one of the two proteins found in dairy, the other being casein. It's not naturally made by your body, but is derived during the cheesemaking process. It's considered a complete protein because it contains all nine essential amino acids. That's why it's a go-to for bodybuilders and fitness enthusiasts. Taking whey protein after workouts has been linked to muscle recovery, mass gain, and reduced soreness. It's quickly absorbed and ideal for post-exercise repair. Can you take creatine and whey protein together? Absolutely. These two supplements serve different but complementary purposes. Creatine helps fuel your workouts by supporting short bursts of power, while whey protein helps you repair and rebuild afterward. Taking them together doesn't cause any negative interaction. Instead, they enhance each other's benefits. For example, creatine helps you push harder during workouts, leading to more muscle breakdown, and whey protein ensures faster repair and growth afterward. So yes, using both can give you better results in terms of strength, energy, and muscle gains. More energy during workouts and creatine increases the amount of phosphocreatine in your muscles. This helps the body produce more ATP, adenosine triphosphate, your body's primary energy source during exercise. The more ATP you have, the longer and harder you can train. Just six days of creatine loading followed by a maintenance dose can significantly raise your energy levels during intense training. Boosted high-intensity performance including sprints, heavy lifts, and explosive movements. Unlike many other supplements, creatine works regardless of your fitness level, whether you're a beginner or an elite athlete. Studies have even shown improvements in vertical jump, sprint speed, and strength output when creatine is part of your routine. Increase muscle mass and, when combined with resistance training, creatine helps your muscles retain water, promoting cell volumization, which contributes to muscle growth. Over time, creatine supplementation leads to both short-term and long-term gains in lean body mass. Whey protein also supports this process. Its high leucine content stimulates muscle protein synthesis, allowing your muscles to grow and recover faster. Faster muscle growth. Your goal is to gain muscle fast. Creatine can help speed up the process. Research shows that muscle growth increases significantly within as little as five days of creatine use. It enhances your gym performance, allowing you to lift heavier and train more effectively which leads to faster gains over time. Creatine may help manage blood glucose levels when paired with high-intensity exercise. Studies have found that it improves your body's ability to handle sugar spikes, potentially reducing the risk of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. This benefit makes it valuable not just for muscle growth but for overall metabolic health too. Just like it helps muscles produce more energy, Creatine also supports cognitive performance by boosting ATP levels in the brain. This can lead to better memory, mental focus, and reduced mental fatigue. It's especially useful when you're mentally drained or doing tasks that require concentration. Intense workouts cause tiny tears in your muscle fibers. That's why you feel sore. Whey protein speeds up the repair process thanks to its rich supply of branched chain amino acids, BCAAs. The amino acid leucine, in particular, kickstarts muscle protein synthesis, helping you rebuild faster and reduce muscle soreness. Whey protein contains compounds called lactokinins, which act as ACE inhibitors, similar to some blood pressure medications. Studies show that regular whey intake can lower blood pressure in people with hypertension, 
making it beneficial for heart health, especially when paired with exercise. Whey protein may help lower LDL, bad cholesterol, and overall blood lipid levels, which are major risk factors for heart disease. One study showed that taking 65 grams of whey protein daily for 12 weeks led to significant reductions in both LDL and total cholesterol levels. This makes whey great not only for muscle, but also for long-term cardiovascular health. Both creatine and whey protein may lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Whey protein has been shown to moderate blood sugar levels and boost insulin production after meals. It works even better than many other protein sources, and some of its effects have even been compared to diabetes medications like sulfonylureas. General recommended daily intake for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. However, if you're training hard or aiming for muscle growth, you can safely exceed that. For most people, the ideal serving size is 20 g of whey protein per serving, 3 to 5 grams of creatine per serving. Get the most out of these supplements. You can take them together, ideally post-workout for maximum anabolic impact. You can also split them into multiple servings throughout the day depending on your goals and digestion. Have you ever tried combining creatine and whey protein? If yes, did you notice improved energy, strength, or recovery? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up.